Hello everyone, welcome to episode 2 of Creaky Weekly. This was meant to be such a happy occasion. Thanks to Conspiracy Cats and Fight the Flat Earth. I've now passed 600 subscribers, but it's all, it's all been spoiled. Sorry. Somebody's made fun of my hat. I just don't think I can go on. Sorry guys. So, in episode 2 of the Creaky Weekly, Nathan Oakley struggles with simple maths whilst learning to dab. I don't know, how do you convert metres into kilometres? Randy is butt hurt because of Conspiracy Cat's fantastic video. So, the next time he comes back and he mentions something, fast his finger first, ban him. Not just time him out, get rid of him. Not interested. And is it just me, or does Phuket word sound like Trisha Takanawa? One, two, three, they're all the same height as we can see from this orthographic view. This has been Trisha Takanawa with the news. <laughs> I think he does. Stick around to find out more. So, why was Randy so butthurt, so absolutely devastated by the Conspiracy Cats video? I'm going to hand you over to Craig from Fight the Flat Earth with an explanation. Craig, over to you, pal. Thanks, Creaky, for having me on. I'm Craig from Fight the Flat Earth. This week, Conspiracy Cats put me out of a job by tricking some flat earthers into proving that the earth can't possibly be flat. Cats has a second channel called Baldy Cats, and on it he released a video showing this photo of Mount Rainier in the background and Mount St. Helens in the foreground. Now the thing is that Mount Rainier is way bigger than Mount St. Helens, so on a flat earth it shouldn't look smaller like it does in this photo. Cats did some angular size calculations and basically showed that this picture kills flat earth dead. So Ranty Flat Earth and Sleeping Warrior thought they saw some discrepancies in Cats' calculations, but the thing is when Cats did his angular size calculations he based them on the side peak of Mount St Helens rather than the actual peak. So even though the Flat Earth idiots thought they'd caught conspiracy cats out, when they did the angular size calculations themselves and based it on the actual peak of Mount St Helens, they further proved that the Earth could not be flat. They thought they'd caught conspiracy cats out but the whole thing was a cleverly laid trap and they fell right into it. The only response they had left was to get Jeronism on and get him to claim that the photo was fake. Watching the flurfs go into panic mode when they realised they'd been had was absolutely glorious so props to you cats excellently done if you guys could subscribe to me at fight the flat earth that would be great thanks for having me on creaky back to you so there we have it it's really upset them and it's hysterical because all they've got left to come back to I, I don't like saying global believers I'll say normal people the only comeback they now have is to hurl insults and to claim that everything is fake get rid of him not interested which is the generic response from a flat earther when they come across a piece of evidence that they can't dispute which proves Earth can't be anything other than a globe. Based on what they're showing us, it seems very fake. When we're being presented with things like the moon landing footage, and you've only got to look at it with a critical eye to see that it's done on a set. Right, so this is Nathan Oakley. Anybody who's involved in the flat earth from either side of the line will know who Nathan Oakley is. Um, he's the guy that's very, very fond of his mute button in debates because as soon as somebody says something that disproves the flat earth, he likes to silence them rather than try to argue his way out of it because he clearly hasn't got the intelligence to do so. I don't know. How do you convert metres into kilometres? <sighs> Uh, yeah, we haven't heard you say anything remotely similar to that before, Nathan. Research has shown that it would have cost them more to fake the moon landings than to actually go to the moon. So, yeah, definitely fake, mate. Good call. In my last career, I was travelling around the world as an international sales rep. Around the world, Nathan? Don't you mean across the world? Because to go around something, it has to be round or a sphere in the first place, doesn't it? Well, NASA were developed for the sole purpose of lying to us. Their only purpose is to perpetuate the globe lie. Every single story that is told by NASA has the subcontext that we live on a globe. The way they're faking things is with top of the line, absolutely cutting edge studio techniques like were used in the film Gravity. Okay, I don't want to sound like a stuck record, but I'm fed up of saying this. Why 
Are they faking it? For what reason? What's the end goal? What have they got to gain? It's nothing to do with the 15 million dollars a day or, or whatever the NASA budget is because that budget is used for actual scientific research. It's not enough money to make it worthwhile and the number of people that would need to be involved in the cover up is huge. And anyway, Nathan, it's not that difficult. I'm going to ask you a really simple question and I just want a short answer. What shape is the planet we live on? A globe. That's right. Now try again. What do we live on? A globe. Well done, now you're getting it. And finally, Nathan, before I let you go, what do you think of my channel and my, and my production values? Top of the line, absolutely cutting edge studio techniques. Nathan, that is so kind of you. I really didn't think I was going to get that answer. Right, I'm going to cut it short there because I want to try and keep these creaky weekly episodes to five minutes, there or thereabouts. I fully intend to make a video on Nathan Oakley for Flat Art Fridays. Maybe this week, I haven't 100% decided yet. And I've also got a video coming on Poop, Fook, Fook, Fooka, Poop, Pook, Fooka, Fook, the, the word guy. Um, he's also going to be featured on Flat Art Friday. So if you've made it all the way to the end, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all on Friday for Flat Art Friday. Thanks for sticking around and take care. Cheers, guys. Bye.